this is it. She'll have lost her sight. But... Hey y'all. So I am in the process of packing. What is your packing process? Because mine's I have no order. I mean, I know what I want. I know what I need. But I know some people got some better stuff than I do. But here goes some clothes. My suitcase still is not packed. Got some stuff folded. Y'all, oh yeah, I got my sarong on. I love this thing, y'all. I can't wait to go back to Bali. Next time I go back, when I go back to Bali, I might not come back. What, what was that? I don't give a damn if y'all care if I come back. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> but yeah, um, packing up again. About to be gone. I will be on a flight again. Sorry. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd. I will be up in the air on. Or, or, or a car. Or how I see this might be like the day before, or might be the day of. I don't know. I think it's gonna be the day before. But I'm be up in the air on the 24th, which is Saturday. Yeah, I just be on the move, bro. I just be on the move. I had something smart to say. Why? Well, I'm not even gonna do it. Cause I saw something on Facebook. You know that social media jump. And, I mean, I never One of those, like, you know, the memes and stuff, you know, the little videos. And sometimes, you know, you know how sometimes you think it's about you? So you want to go back and second look at just to make sure. But I went back to second look and that bitch was gone. Excuse me. That mess was gone. So, I don't know. I don't know. They say, what, what they say? A, a hit cat holler, hit dog holler. Like, must be about you. And guess what? Out your hood. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going I'm to cut that out. Cut that out, bro. Don't forget the racist part. Not for that, I ain't racist shit. But yeah, I am packing up. I am about to be on the move again. Um, this is what I do. I update y'all on my packing. Because right now, ain't nothing inside no bag. And ain't nothing put together. The only thing that's put together so far is I got my head shaved. Feel like I need a tan. Terrible. And I got my hair done. I browse them. And then I'm about to get these lashes touched the next day. And then, yeah, you know, hopefully I have my stuff all packed by Friday night, so I ain't got to do nothing else. All right. Love y'all. Bye. All right, y'all. Hey. So I, yeah, I look way different from beginning of this video, huh? Um, that was a couple of days ago when I was supposed to start um, packing. I finally started packing last night, like, 12 o'clock at night but um i am finally packed and about to get on a plane my flight is in about an hour and 30 minutes the airport is only like 15 minutes from me it's not far at all but remember how i was saying what do y'all usually do for y'all pack um i have to clean my linen i have to try to straighten my room somewhat how i like it because i don't like to come back to the mess and I also clean the bathroom and stuff because i like to come back to a nice clean bathroom but all right, y'all. Let me go ahead and get to my flight. I'm hot because I was doing some last minute packing.
This is my hit my home airport. Little as hell, got like three terminals. <laughs> this is my gate, just waiting for them to pull us on. We fly out in like 20 minutes, but they ain't put us on the plane yet. But we'll see. Yeah, I have a little airport here. my grandma <laughs> I'm back home in DC um, I want to be here for a while with my grandma spend some time but yeah that's where I'm at now DC let's see DC. what I'm gonna do out here ain't that right grandma that's right DC maybe so some more cool. tattoos what you think <laughs> what you think <laughs> What you what what you think? She like, oh dear. Oh dear, what you think? Yeah. My granddaughter about to get some more tattoos. I know my granddaughter gotta get some space to get some more tattoos. I got a whole lot, grandma. I'm juicy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grandma Tina, y'all. Hi. Y'all can call her y'all can call her Grandma Tina. Grandma Tina. Tina. <laughs> grandma Tina. Yeah, Grandma Tina. Alright. Okay. I love you all. Yeah. Bye bye. Hair a little itchy. Hair getting frizzy. But oh yeah. Let me tell y'all a little bit about today. So first flight was delayed getting on. Then we finally got on. I was supposed to be up in the air by 12.24. We sat on the plane for about 30, 40 minutes. And then um, they finally started to move, right? Then all of a sudden, the plane stops. I'm thinking it's, you know, it's just getting ready to do its turn. They can run around, you know. But, y'all... The guy come on and announced me, you know what? Those um <laughs> what what are they called? Pilots? Those pilots are so freaking lucky. Cause what they do is they go into their little room, they lock that door before they say bad news. Because they know if that door is unlocked or they ain't had no door, people be tripping. So we turn, like we about to go start up the little propeller, all that. And then all of a sudden, um, yeah, so um, 
we're delayed. We're going to be delayed for another 20 minutes. So it's going to sit here for 20 minutes and then we'll be in the air. What? What? And I'm going to clock like, yo, so I don't post, this flight was supposed to depart at 1224. We were supposed to be in Charlotte at 107. And then my next flight was 243. So I had like an hour and, you know, like 40 minutes. You get what I'm saying? By the time we got in the air, y'all, it was almost, um, it was like about 130 or something like that. So we sat there and I had to, I got off the plane, as y'all saw. That was outside, like in a whole nother area. Had to walk through the airport, like hustling. No, I'm not running, but I was walking fast, you know. <laughs> Y'all know I'm about to run. I'm about to say, yeah, I better hold that plane. But I was hustling, right? Because that plane took off to 2:43, and that one took off on time. On time, right? So I didn't make it to that plane. I made it to the plane, cool. We actually ended up, we supposed to, weren't supposed to get here to about, what, four or something? We ended up getting here, like, three something early. I'm like, cool, that's even better. Then, next bad thing that happens, I'm waiting for my bag to come. I'm waiting for my bag to come. And all of a sudden, my flight, like, off the, come off the screen like, like it's done. I didn't get my bag. So I had to go over to the little baggage thing and talk to the people. Come to find out when I got on my Fayetteville flight, they put my bag on, then took my bag off and put it on another flight to Charlotte. They did not get there when I got there. And then that flight did from Charlotte to D.C., which did not get to D.C. when I got to D.C. So, basically, I got to D.C. at 3-something. I just got my bag at 11 o'clock p.m. And they were like, they yes, they did say they, they would deliver it. They said they would deliver it to, you know, my grandma's house and stuff. But I was like, nah. I was like, y'all not going to deliver that bad boy tonight. And I need that tonight. Like, I need to take my shower. I need to put my PJs on that I like to wear. And I want to, you know, I need my stuff. No. So, luckily it came. I checked it. It said it was there. Boom. We hit the lift. I was going to go by myself. My grandma was like, she's going to come with me. My family be worried about me. They don't want, they don't want me shine to go by herself. So, yeah. Now I got my bag. But I had to tell y'all that story. American Airlines gets on my nerves. Alright, y'all. So... I know I said bye already, but as y'all know, I'm in D.C. And no, this is not a place that I've never been before. I am from D.C. I was born in D.C., but I am an Army brat, and I was raised on Fort Bragg. But I am from D.C. Both sides of my family is um, D.C. My mom and my dad are born and raised, so, um, and... I was birthed here also. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Place already been. But it has been a long time since I've been here. So I'm at my grandma's house. Um, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm tired. Look, curls as the day went on. Started to mess up. Because, I mean, y'all did see where my American Airline in Charlotte. Oh, yeah, it was Charlotte. Where I had to walk outside. Yeah. It started like sprinkling. And I usually have like a hoodie or a hat on or something, but I didn't want to mess up my curls. But now, <sighs> it's starting to get rough. So, sorry I keep putting my hair in front of the camera. I'm on my phone. But, um, yeah. Oh, and I changed my bar, y'all. So, it's not like all suited with long no more. It's short. If y'all would have saw me do it, y'all would have been like, is she going to get it in? Because the bar is like this short. 
and I have nails. So, you know, I was like, it was hard trying to do all that water. I didn't pop it in water. It was hard. But, um, I am in D.C. I'll find out what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I might not do anything. I might do something. I don't know. And then I'm going to go walk. And, you know, just hang out. Eat some food. Some people are like, I've been in D.C. There's nothing for you to show me. Whatever. Then don't watch this vlog, okay? You ain't got to. But um, this is going to be me walking around D.C., hanging out with my grandma, with uh, a couple friends that's here. And also walking around solo because I'm beat out. Right, y'all. Hey, that look thug. <laughs> Love you all.